last week there was a large protest called We Make Events happened all over the country to highlight the government's failure to support those who work in the live events industry and support the sector trying to recover from the devastation of lockdown, of the pandemic and of the ongoing social distancing measures that mean there is every likelihood that it is going to be the very, very last thing that opens back up. And behind me you can see some of the images from that. And you might be thinking that they're very striking images and that they would make a great media story. But in actual fact, there was like very, very little coverage. And that is in spite of the fact that the media did find time to cover the fact that Jason Manford wore a vest. And the thing is, I'm a fan of Jason Manford's and I'm a fan of his fitness journey that he's on at the moment. It's fascinating. But not only do I think that the We Make Events protest is a bigger news story, it's even a bigger news story about Jason Manford because you'll probably write a show in which he talks about his fitness journey and if you want to see it in your local area whether or not that's possible will come down to whether the arts venue there has survived and also down to whether or not the freelancers who make up the crew and the technicians and the front of house staff and all of those other roles whether they have had the support that they need to survive through this pandemic and what the protest was saying is that the support that's been offered is completely inadequate and the sector is absolutely on the brink of collapse. Um, I don't usually talk about people that I'm close to because I want to protect them from the kind of abuse that I get which I talk about a great deal but I'm going to talk about my boyfriend and just a warning to you assholes who like to write abuse on my posts if you go after my boyfriend I will tear you limb from limb I hope that's clear my boyfriend is a live sound engineer he works all around the world all across the country from pubs to big stadiums and concerts and things like that and he lost all the work in his diary in March, as I did, but at least I have an audience and a mailing list that I can contact directly and appeal to, whereas because he works behind the scenes, he doesn't have any recourse to anything like that. Also, I've been freelance for a really long time, so I was able to apply to the government for some support money. He's been freelance for only just over a year, so he hasn't filed tax returns. He got absolutely zero from the government absolutely everything out of his diary when he's got no more work coming up for a very very long time and is just literally burning through the savings that he wanted to spend doing training courses and developing his career and I'm so angry about it that it's it's not true and what he and I are both really being driven up the wall by is the new government's adverts where they're showing pictures of like an empty live music venue and an empty theatre with the slogan let's get back to the things we love. Let me be really clear if we love live events and we love live entertainment or even if we love people who work in those industries we need to step up and insist that the government does something real and significant and meaningful to make sure that those industries survive this lockdown so that so that we, we can get back to it and so that the people who work in those industries can survive this situation. Thank you.